Hi, this is Anne from DuckTapeAndDenim.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas ornament out of an old salt shaker. So the supplies you're going to need, you're going to need an old salt shaker, some rustic wire, a brass tag, a bead, and two jump rings. Then for the tools, the tools you need are a hammer, wire cutters, I use a couple of pair of pliers, I like the bent nose and the straight nose, then you need round nose pliers, and a euro punch or some kind of a hole punch, that's to punch the hole in the tag, and then you need um, alphabet stamps and your block to stamp on. Alright, I'm going to cut a length of wire. I don't ever measure it. I just say about that much. And then about halfway through, I'm going to put an L. I'm going to bend it like an L. Take the top off of my salt shaker and I'm going to um, pull this up to one of the holes on one side and look for a hole on the opposite side and see how far apart they are. And then I'm going to bend it right so that that will fit in the top of those two holes. So it goes through that one on that side and that one on the opposite side. See that? And just pull it all the way through and then cross them over. I'm going to bend one straight up and one straight out so that they meet each other right there. I'm going to hold the bottom part with my straight pliers and wrap around a couple of times. And trim off the end and then just press that down. Make sure it's flat. Then I put my bead on. Like that, just string it on. And right above the bead, I'm going to make a loop, just like if you were making a dangle for a bracelet or something. So I'll bend it, make an L, and then use my round nose pliers, make a loop, turn it so that the circle goes all the way around. I'm going to hold on to the loop with my pliers and wrap it around a couple of times until it's snug and trim off the extra. And again, I'm going to just make sure it's kind of smooth there. That's the main part. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp on the brass circle. First, I'm going to put a hole in it. That's I use my Euro punch, just pretty close to the top, to the edge. And there's a lot of different ways you can punch holes, but that's about the easiest way on this gauge of metal. So that's the top now. I'm going to make it say Joy. So I'm using my big letters. Um, sometimes I make them say salt of the earth or let it snow or something like that. And then I use my smaller letters for that.
So now we're going to add the tag to the ornament. I'm going to use two jump rings so that it lays flatter against the side of the ornament. One through the tag. And then the second one is going to attach the tag to the ornament. Alright, so this is just a little extra. You can just buy a hanger and use it on there, or you can make a hanger with just a little bit extra wire. I'm going to cut some wire off and use anything round. This is just a ring sizer, or you can use a round marker or anything that you have that's circular shaped. Make a loop and then flip it over and make a loop on the other side. So you're making like a big S. See that? Just make a big S. Now so that these little ends don't poke you, use the round nose pliers to make a little loop on the end. If you make that loop big enough, that'll also keep it from slipping off of the ornament. Once you get it on the ornament, then you can make the loop on the other end. Ta-da!